What is up everybody? Welcome back to the meth review area. Today, I got something special for you. It's finally time to show off my polymer 80 build. It's my first one. And uh, so without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and put her out there for the world to see. All right, so just take a minute. Look at that thing. Ooh. Okay, so what you're looking at here, first of all, is a polymer 80. CL frame. So the CL frame is basically, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Glock 19X that everybody in the concealed carry and EDC community kind of always wanted. Um, what it allows for is that 19 length or that compact grip with a 17 length slide. So you get extra barrel for more velocity out of your nine millimeter or 40 cal bullets. And you get a longer sight radius which helps you be more accurate. So that's what the CL frame gives. So as you can see, we get the flush fit for the 15 round Glock 19 mags and a 17 slide, okay? Now this Glock 17 slide is not OEM and check here where you are clear, mag has been taken out. This is not an OEM slide. This is from Grey Ghost Precision. Okay, Grey Ghost Precision makes excellent slides. This is their version one. You may have seen other channels review other versions um, or even just the Glock 19 version of the Grey Ghost Precision uh, V1, but this is the Glock 17 length uh, with a threaded barrel. Uh, I bought this particular slide. Um, came from Aero Precision, who does a lot of work with Grey Ghost because they're both based in the Tacoma, Washington area. Um, and uh, was able to buy this from Aero Precision. It was actually given to me as a gift. I just know where it was purchased. Um, and so uh, we went ahead and put together this build. Um, so I'll go ahead and take this down real quick. Um, so I don't know, I like to pull her back, put her forward, click, boom. Went with all OEM Glock internals, purchased on Midway USA. Um, and yeah, so it's just literally Glock internals. Um, for those of you who haven't built a Polymer 80 before, um, I'll tell you, I had a good time doing it uh, because I was doing it with my grandfather um, and, and it was a blast, but it wasn't easy. Um, I remember I was scared the first time, I was like 18 years old, I put together my first AR-15 and I was kind of afraid of doing it, but then I realized it was just like a puzzle you put together. Uh, doing a Polymer 80 build is a little bit different, or at least it was for me. Um, obviously you have to drill your own holes and I knew that, uh, but then I thought it'd be kind of more like just putting the puzzle pieces together. Um, no, you had to do some fitting of the rails um, and still, um, you know, I've continued to work on it. Uh, doing extra sanding, all sorts of stuff. Um, I've only been able to take this out of the range one time before I had sights on it. And at the time, um, I was having uh, some problems feeding the next round. Um, and I know that'll probably continue to be a problem. Um, this has to do with uh, the tolerances of the Grey Ghost Precision Slide, which has very, very tight tolerances. Um, and the Polymer 80 rails are uh, made with very loose tolerances in mind to, to take those Glock loose tolerances. Um, but I'm confident that, that uh, I've done enough sanding, enough oiling, that this is gonna work uh, pretty well as soon as I do have the chance to take it out and test it. Um, recently, I went ahead and went with the Ameriglo um, sights, all black steel sights uh, with a serrated front post. Okay, so uh, their suppressor height. Um, and guys, uh, that's going to bring up a quick little mini discussion here. Okay, I've watched a lot of YouTube channels for a long time, and something that has always driven me nuts is when these, uh, I don't know, old men on uh, YouTube channels name their guns, you know, like the, uh, I don't know, all sorts of builds that they name. Uh, not to call out Tactical Toolbox, but like the sleeper build. And I was, was like, oh, snore, okay, I don't like naming builds but this thing man I, i'm calling it the rhino um and you're like rhino what so i'm looking at it i kind of have this this nice uh, finish that gray ghost has on there um it doesn't show up that well on camera but it, it looks very gray 
compared to the Polymer 80 Black Slide. Um, and then since we have that 19 grip length, um, it's kind of got those stubby legs and that big body. And then I went with the suppressor height sights and we've, we've kind of got that rhino horn right there. And I'll try to roll in a picture somewhere in here of a rhino looking right at you and you tell me it doesn't, doesn't kind of reminisce to that. So I'm, I'm going with the rhino build, man. Um, that is the Polymer 80 CL with a Grey Ghost Precision version one, Amerigos sights, threaded barrel. Um, I really do like this Grey Ghost Precision slide. Uh, the Glock internals were just, um, they're easy to come by and uh, I just could not. Here, check out this trigger pull real quick. Obviously it's pretty much just stock Glock trigger pull, but check it out, I like it. Bang, reset. And for those of you who don't know, I actually don't own a Glock. Uh, right now, my EDC pistol is the MMP 2.0 Compact in a Bravo concealment holster sometimes, right? And if we look here, you can see the grip length is almost exactly the same. Kind of get that lined up there, kind of hard to do behind a camera here. The grip length is almost exactly the same. Actually, I would say the Polymer 80 might even be just a hair shorter, okay? Um, I'm gonna have to get a holster for this gun, because right now, for all intents and purposes, I'll just kind of show you what this might look like. Um, this is, again, my lost concealment, or loaded and safe concealment uh, Ronin uh, 2.0 holster. Um, here we go. That thing fits in there. Uh, obviously, we get a little bit of uh, barrel protruding, um, but it fits. I probably won't carry it like this uh, ever just because I, I don't trust that the trigger guard cuts out um, and, and protects the trigger properly. Um, but for right now it fits, right? And uh, it's actually got really great retention. Um, but yeah, uh, this is how this thing would carry. Um, and essentially you get that extra barrel length, that extra sight picture, um, and then you still get the printing of the grip. That's basically, the same as that, uh, which is super, super nice. And that's really why I wanted to build this handgun. Um, oh, and then just in case, you know, you want to know another reason why this thing's going to be called the Rhino, <laughs> check this out. Boom, <laughs> this is from Grey Ghost. I got that uh, sticker from them. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, I'm not going to call it the Battle Unicorn, uh, even though that might be kind of cool. Uh, but this is this is going to be the Rhino build right here, guys. Um, yeah, I'm excited to, to get this thing out to the range, uh, really see what it can do. Um, I think, you know, I learned a lot by kind of doing the Polymer 80 frame. Um, it, it might not be my first choice again, that's for sure. Um, but it was a good experience. And what's the really the coolest part? Oh yeah, non-serialized. Um, I guess you could say, quote, nobody knows I own this gun, uh, but now you all do. Um, and I'm sure, you know, if the government really wanted to, they could hunt down everybody with a Polymer 80 video. But hey, uh, I hope they don't want to do that. Uh, guys, um, go check out, you know, Polymer 80. Uh, see if there's any frames that interest you. They're coming way more colors than this. I just happened to be at Radio Arms and they had the black in stock. I always kind of wanted to do a different color, but this thing looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that is uh, all I've got for you today. No shooting of it at this point. Um, as soon as I can, I will update you and let you know what it shoots like. Um, until then, I just want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody that has subscribed. I think we're at like 40 subscribers. It's not a lot, but uh, I love it. Uh, I mean, 40 people regularly tune in and, and watch these videos. Um, also, go ahead and uh, if you get a chance, go over to Instagram. Give me a follow. I've been dropping a lot more uh, picture content there. I try to post it at least once a day. Um, my Twitter is pretty dead. Uh, but uh, also check out um, the blog. Uh, if you go over to Instagram, sometimes I'll have a recent blog post uh, linked in my bio. Um, and one coming up will definitely be about, I recently went to a Jack Carr book signing. He wrote The Terminal List, his most recent book, True Believer. Uh, so guys, this has been the Polymer 80 Rhino build at the meth review area and guys i will catch you next time later